Okay, welcome, we'll get started. I have a gavel, but I don't think I need to use it. Well, welcome everybody and thank you all for staying. We have a great turnout, so that's wonderful. Good afternoon, I now declare the 98th annual meeting of the Nurses Association of New Brunswick open. And welcome, based on our biennial cycle, today's meeting is a business meeting only, so I look forward to this afternoon's deliberations. It'll just be a half day, and you'll remember quite a few years ago, we switched so that we have a half day business session one year, and then the following year we have a regular, more like what your biennial meeting at CNA is like, the where it's two to three days, and we have an education day and a, and a longer business session. So today is just a business session, and it will just be this afternoon. I'm very pleased to introduce the Board of Directors of the Nurses Association of New Brunswick. So as I call their name, if they please stand, and if I'd ask you just to hold your applause until they're all standing. And uh, we, before we used to make them sit at the front, but they're dispersed throughout, throughout the room. So for uh, president-elect is Brenda Kenny. And Brenda is, of course, okay. <laughs> It's been a long day already. Okay, Darlene's awake now. <laughs> Sorry, Brenda. <laughs> my, my left hand, I forgot she's always there, see, so I forget. <laughs> so I just know she's there. <laughs> Chantal Simmer from Region 1. <laughs> Jillian Lawson from Region 2. Amy McLeod, Region 3. Jose Susi, Region 4. Linda LePage Leclerc from Region 5, Annie Boudreau, Region 6, there she is, Rhonda Shattuck from Region 7, and our public directors, Edouard Dubé, Fernand Schwena, is good, and Wayne Trail, your board of directors. Again, uh, France was kind enough to remind us we have students in the room this morning, and absolutely, I'd like to acknowledge the new nursing students that are here today. Uh, we implemented in 2012 an initiative to expose our future registered nurses to their professional regulatory body by sponsoring two students from each program site across the province. Please stand to be acknowledged by your future peers. And I hope you were excited with the presentation from this morning and look forward to your participation in your professional association in the future. The rest of us would like to retire and absolutely, <laughs> and absolutely, some of us won't admit how long we've been nursing. And absolutely, as was shared this morning at the forum, uh, we will welcome the opportunity to mentor a new student. So if one of us do not ask you in your four hour area, please feel free to remind us. It is our job, our responsibility to welcome you to the profession and mentor you. So if we don't remember, you remind us. I'd just like to make a few announcements before opening the business session. The Canadian Nurses Association has provided greetings and it's included in your registration kit. Also, out of courtesy to presenters and your colleagues, please silence all your electronic devices if you haven't already. And simultaneous translation is available, and as I said this morning, English is on channel one and French is on channel two. Concerning the eligibility to vote, only registered members are permitted to vote on matters during the assembly. Non-voting attendees are identified by name tags with a red dot. And again, any time you get up to speak at the mic, if you just please identify yourself prior to speaking. And for the first time, they reminded me this morning, we are live streaming this annual meeting, providing registered nurses and nurse practitioners the opportunity to watch the proceedings from home or work. I suspect from home, most of us would not be able to do it at work. I would be surprised if they are, but it is available. The session recording will be posted on the website as soon as possible, so uh, it will be there uh, for our uh, peers and colleagues to watch. So that's exciting to use the technology. 
I now call the business session to order, and I have been joined at the head table with Anne Warner LaForest, who will be our par parliamentarian for the meeting, Roxanne Tarzan, our executive director, Brenda Kinney, our president-elect, and Shelley Rickard, our manager of corporate services. I would like to introduce the members of the resolution committee from the St. John chapter, and if you'd stand as I introduce you, please. Sharon, Sharon Balcom, the chairperson. There she is at the back, good. Bridget Stack. And Catherine Hurley. Thank you. The deadline for submitting resolutions is 2.30 today. We started a few minutes late. Uh, it's, as I said, a short business session. So let's say we'll extend it to 2.40. The chair gets to do what she pleases a lot of the time. So we'll give you a <laughs> it's dangerous to give me a mic. Anyway, so 240, so you see there that they're sitting at the table at the back there, and there are sheets at the registration desk if you need something to put your resolution on, and if you would give it to any of them, and we will say that we will close the ability to submit resolutions at 240. In keeping with the responsibilities according to the chair, I have appointed the necessary scrutineers to oversee the business of the annual meeting, and I'd like to introduce our chief scrutineer, Sharon Hall Kay. Sharon sitting to the side. On, okay. Okay. And I'd like to ask Roxanne Tarzan, executive director, to advise us whether we whether or not we have a quorum. The Under section 13.6 of our um, bylaws, a quorum is composed of at least 30 members registered, uh, members with right to vote, uh, registered for the annual meeting uh, for the uh, even uh, year, even number year. According to our registration office, we have 54 members, voting members. That, who were registered at 2 o'clock this afternoon. The majority is therefore 80, 28 members, so we do have quorum. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you all for being here today. The annual general meeting ensures the association's accountability to you, the members, and is a requirement of our legislation. As stated earlier, this is just a business session, so that's why it's a half day. I would like to share with you, though, uh, that it w probably is in the annual meeting report as well. But in 2013, the board approved a major upgrade and renovation to our office on Regent Street with the installation of an elevator. Now, for those of you that have been into the building, uh, it's kind of difficult to get up those stairs if you have the least bit of uh, mobility issues. So we were really fortunate over the last few years with the ability to put money aside to be able to install an elevator at the... at the tune of about $400,000. So we'll be installing that this year. And also, for those of us who are a little bit older and remember, we bought the building in 1991. You now own the building, which is fantastic. But also, it's getting older. So as part of installing the elevator, we're also going to do some renovations in the building and relocate a few offices and cosmetic changes, basically pretty it up a little bit. But after this, we look forward to showcasing these improvements during our 2015 annual meeting and will plan an open house for all the members and guests so that they will be able to go and proudly look at the changes that we've made at the office. I'm sure that um, for those of you that remember it from when we bought it in 91, to, we did do some cosmetic changes a few years ago, but it was past due again. So. We just had the board meeting there, and so the boardroom has changed, and there are some changes finished already, and it's really looking quite nice and more serviceable. Uh, we'll be able to use some of the offices better for when we have uh, discipline hearings and small meetings, so it's, it's great. I think you'll be really pleased. 
As your president also, I wanted to share that I represent you at the CNA board table. And as you've uh, pay, in reading what you get from CNA over the last few years, there have been several changes coming. So CNA is like all the rest of us. You have to keep reinventing yourselves and making sure that you're st still pertinent in this environment. And so it has been an interesting year. And with a couple of the past presidents in the room, they can also say that uh, sitting at the national table and uh, interacting and inter with uh, nurses across the country is always very interesting. But at the same time, as I've shared with some of you, I'm always so proud when I go to anything nationally at how well we're doing in New Brunswick and how fortunate we are to have the expertise we have in the province and everything from research to, I sit there and get reports from some of the other jurisdictions or some of the specialties and networks and I think, hmm, I know somewhere in New Brun I know they're doing that in New Brunswick, in this pocket of, 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 of New Brunswick, or gee, the person presenting makes it sounds like it's new and innovative, and I say, hmm, I know I'm not that old, but I think we did that 10 years ago in New Brunswick, so you just quietly don't say anything, and you're just proud of what, what we are able to accomplish in such a small province with the resources I have. So I just wanted to share that I'm so proud to represent New Brunswick at that table. It's, it's really a wonderful opportunity. Lucille was unable to stay today, but I also thought I'd share with you, and especially I'm hoping to see some of you at the biennial meeting. CNA's biennial meeting is in Winnipeg starting, well, I guess I have to get there early. The actual meeting, I think, is the 18th to the 20th of June, so it's in two and a half weeks in Winnipeg. And Lucille Offrey, who is our past executive director of the Nurses Association of New Brunswick, and she was at the forum this morning, and also past executive director of CNA, is being honored with the Jean Mars Award. So uh, we are just so. She, she came to the board meeting, was here for the forum this morning, and she was so touched to be nominated. She's so humble. It was really, really nice to, to see uh, Lucille. And she gave me a few pearls of wisdom, as I said, at the CNA board table, which I will try to, when I go back, use her pearls of wisdom because she, with all her experience. So it's, it's uh, quite an honor. It was the board's uh, pleasure to nominate her, but she's very much a deserving candidate. Okay, now I would like to entertain a motion to adopt the annual meeting agenda as provided to you when you're registered. Do I have a mover? Yeah, if you'd go to the mic, please, and, and don't forget to introduce yourself. Jillian Lawson, Director, Region 2, in motion. Thank you, Jillian. Chantal Sommer, Region 1, second. Thank you, Chantel. We have a mover and a seconder. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Motion is carried. Also in your kits, you would have received the annual general meeting rules, and it's on a pink sheet. If uh, you uh, agree, would you please uh, I'd like a mover to adopt the annual meeting standing rules? Annette Le Boutillier and I move to approve the um, rules for the meeting. Thank you, Annette. Heather McQueen, I second it. Thank you, Heather. We have a mover and a seconder. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Against? Abstentions? The motion is carried. I'll now call upon the Executive Director, Roxanne Tarjan, to present the auditor's report. Uh, you have a copy of it in your annual report that you received at the registration desk. Roxanne. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I know everyone comes to the annual meeting to get the auditor's report, right? <laughs> You've received a copy as the uh, president has underlined the auditor's report is included at the uh, end of the annual report. I'll be referring to that report throughout this presentation. The audited financial statements begin on page 31 
in the English Annual Report and page 32 in the French Report. I'm going to begin with the financial position of NAMB at the end of 2013. This is our accountability for the 2013 operational year. Please turn to the statement of operations found on page 36 in English and 34 in French. And uh, if we have a virtual uh, viewer out there, because we're live streamed, uh, the annual report is uh, available on the NAMB website and you can access it there to follow along. We report today NAMB's day-to-day -day operations under the general fund column on that page, which shows an overall surplus of $123,616 for the 2013 year. On the left-hand side of that page, where you see the two comparative columns, 2013 and 2012, you see the comparative years. A few uh, item lines uh, that I'd like to highlight. Membership fees in 2013 were increased, uh, and that's based on the long-range fiscal plan that members approved uh, in 2011. Uh, 2013 was the second year of that four-year fiscal plan, which will be uh, completed next year. We also note that the internationally educated health professionals revenue uh, is, is indicated there. NAMB continues to work with Health Canada on the development of materials related to the assessment, uh, bridging, any bridging education required, and integration of internationally educated nurses. The revenue is shown and then is offset below. Uh, there continues to be activity related to this project and it will be highlighted later in the annual report. Then if we move on to expenses on that page, other things I would like to highlight, you see in the comparative columns that in 2013 the expenses for the annual meeting uh, were higher. That's because that was our large meeting with a full day uh, um, educational session uh, and then an extended annual meeting. Employee wages and benefits line represents for the first time in a while a full staff complement, uh, which has supported the high level of activity and the products that you have benefited from at the association. Uh, in 2013, we also made a contribution to the New Brunswick Museum, uh, and you see that highlighted there. For those of you who are not aware of that, uh, Arlie Hoyt McGee, uh, a uh, former registered nurse in this province, was a passionate historian. She had collected many artifacts and important uh, things from our history, and uh, those were housed at NAMB. And almost seven years ago, NAMB donated uh, that collection to the New Brunswick Museum. We had benefited from some federal money to do cataloging. And at the end of this five-year period in 2017, you, the nurses of New Brunswick, uh, by providing $10,000 a year, will have subsidized the maintenance, the cataloging, the promotion of that collection by $100,000. So it's important to preserve our, our, our past uh, and have a place as we continue to imp uh, preserve the future. Then I move on to fund balances. You're going to have to turn backwards in the report on page 34 in English and 33 in French. Uh, and I apologize to uh, the French members. I will be speaking some French during the uh, annual report, but when I talk about money, I talk better in English. So please uh, bear with me. Uh, this is a statement of changes in our funds. Uh, NAMB uses a fund budgeting process where to plan for future events, to secure resources we might need, we create funds. And as the executive director, I cannot use those funds unless the board approves their use um, and, and therefore uh, ensures that they're secure. The funds that we have uh, are listed here on the screen. Uh, NAMB will be celebrating its centennial in 2016 and will be uh, reaching out to you to look for volunteers uh, and to engage you as we travel around the province and celebrate 100 years of registered nursing. We also will be hosting the CNA Biennium in St. John, so we'll be looking for volunteers for that. And in order to do that work, we need to set money aside. You see the balance there. We have a contingency fund uh, that is set aside in case of catastrophic expenses. We have uh, assimilated those funds together with a fund we used to have, for those of you who will remember, the Discipline Fund. Uh, the Discipline Fund had been generated over well over a decade. Uh, 
to ensure that we had up uh, dollars if we had a very large discipline case. And, and AMB has experienced now, uh, over the last uh, probably 20 years, a couple of cases that uh, have been in the order of a uh, quarter of a million dollars each. And so if you have those kinds of expenses, they don't generally happen in a single year, but they can impact the dollars that are available for operations. And so by having this fund, it ensures we have the dollars to support nursing practice as well as meet those requirements. And we moved our cash surplus into the contingency fund as well. And two years ago, the board approved the creation of a capital fund to uh, advance the improvements that Darlene has uh, highlighted. So those total unrestricted funds are represented there on the screen for you. And as well, we have uh, responsibilities to our employees and that employee benefit fund is represented there. Sorry, Shelley, I ad-libbed, I didn't follow your notes. <laughs> I'll do better this time. General fund analysis on the right hand side of this same report, just before the column that has the date December the 31st, 2013 on it, you will note the unrestricted fund. The beginning balance of this unrestricted fund, which was really cash surpluses that had been accumulated over decades, was $828,127. In 2013, the general fund surplus was $198,220. The interfund transfers, I told you we collapsed the discipline fund and put it into the contingency fund with the cash surplus, is represented with $937,000 and $4 for fund transfers. And we made some capital asset purchases, which are usually uh, some uh, desks, equipment, chairs that break, etc. Uh, the cash uh, surplus resulting in 2013 was $7,676. If you can refer to the statement of financial position, it's on page 32 and on page 30, 32 in English, 32 in French. The total asset of you, the members of NANB, are equal to $7,543,743,000. These assets consist of current cash and AMB investments, accrued interest on any receivable monies, long-term investments, and our capital assets. What are capital assets? It's not language we use, right? This slide shows a breakdown of the capital assets, which is a combination of our building, the land, office furniture, our computers and equipment. Except for land, all other categories are subject to amortization or depreciation on the books. Further details of capital assets are found on page 44 in the English report and 42 in the French report, and it's it's under note four. So if you want to uh, further understand how accountants use those numbers, there's some explanation there on note four. Total liabilities and fund balances. balances. The total liabilities and fund balances section of the statement of changes and financial position is made up of our accounts payable, membership fees collected before December 31st. So as you know, you must be renewed in order to use the title registered nurse and have your liability coverage by December the 31st, but that's actually your registration for the 2014 year, right? So that's why it's there as an accounts payable or future revenue. We transfer it into operations on January the 1st, virtually, right, Shelley? Uh, you see the fund balances there uh, and uh, that explains the, the uh, total uh, equity that I uh, mentioned earlier. NEMB had a cash surplus at the end of this 2013 operational year of $7,676. As was previously highlighted, the Board of Directors approved the motion to distribute that cash surplus into the capital fund, the CNA Biennium and NAMB Centennial Fund, and our newly named Contingency Fund. 2013 was another very successful operational year for NANB. Uh, we want to thank you, the members, for supporting the long-range fiscal plan. It's allowed us to support scholarships, our conferences, develop our e-learning modules. We've uh, maintained a high level of outreach to members, committee activity, uh, and we've continued to ensure the fiscal stability of NANB for years to come. This ends my report, Madam President. <laughs> Thank you, Roxanne. Before we entertain any questions concerning the report, I'd now entertain a motion to adopt the auditor's report.
<laughs> I motion. Thank you, Edward. A seconder, Jillian Lawson. Thank you, Jillian. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Are there any questions in respect to the auditor's report? Well, if there are no questions, then I would uh, like a motion to adopt the audit. No, I have a motion. Excuse Sorry, me, yes. can we have a precision? Uh, is a public member able to move a motion? I'm sorry, uh, Edward, we should have clarified that first. He is a member of the Board of Directors, but not an NA and B member. And this is a meeting of members? All right. You're all legal, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, Linda please. Lepage Leclerc, je propose adoption. I move the adoption of the auditor's report. It's, I guess since Edward was able to move and second it, we have a motion on yeah, the floor, yeah. so it's okay. Just, <laughs> there's a joke we won't share at the board meeting. We were teasing, <laughs> we were teasing Edward about a man's brain, but we won't get into that. <laughs> and we, were and we have three public members, two of which are men. <laughs> and, and they take our jokes in gist, so, it, it, so it's kind of nice that they put up with us, so thank you. So we do have a motion on the floor. Are there any questions in respect to the auditor's report? Clarification? No? Well, if there are no questions, then all those in favor of the motion? Against? Abstences? The motion is carried. Great. Thank you, Roxanne. So the current NANB auditor is Nicholson and Beaumont, and I would ask the Assembly to entertain a motion to reappoint the firm of Nicholson Beaumont as NANB's auditor for 2014. Do I have a mover? Microphone four, Heather McQuinn. Thank you, Heather. Marie Zofré, Région 1, j'appuie. Microphone number one, thank you. Second a motion. So we have a motion on the floor. Any questions or comments in respect to the motion? Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion? Contrary-minded? Abstentions? The motion is carried. <laughs> 